Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne Ultra jumping in again. This time we are going to go in as, I think, Angel. It's been a little while since we played as Angel, I think. Uh, we'll start off with the Golden Lance as well and we'll try and unlock our dual um, golden weapon to start here. Uh, let's just jump into a run here. We grab ourselves our Crown of Inversion as we usually do. Ooh, what the hell have I done here? I accidentally uh, paused the game. There you go. Is that better? Yeah, okay, cool. Sorry about that. Um, I... Minimized the gear, but it paused it. But yeah, we have to fly over walls here. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. So someone did actually give me a really, really good route with loop in how to, like, grab all of the bosses. Um, which is a pretty interesting way of doing things, and I want to try it out. Um, so I think the first one was going to the fish area, so we'll try and do that. I'll see if I can remember it off the top of my head. I might not be able to, so we'll, we'll just kind of play it by ear and see how it goes here. Um... Let's grab Strong Spirit first off. I don't need anything else, I don't think. Um, yes, basically, it's, do you know that, like, where you kill all the major bosses and then you can, um, like, get a bit, bunch of bonuses for it in the Crown Vault? It's basically how to kill all of those by, um, like, Loop 1-1. So we're going to try our best to do that. All right, grab that. Big Bandit. I really need another gun here. That's just a wrench. I suppose the micro grenade will do. It's not the best, but it'll do. Right, be careful, because we know how terrible this area can be with the goddamn jellyfish little fellas. But a melee weapon should make it a lot less annoying and a bit more tolerable, so that's something at least. Oh, dude, the little one's got to me again. Right, a bit of range on that is lovely. I really, really like that. That weapon is very good. Uh, so I, I don't think we... Do we go inverted? L let me see if I can pull it up one second. Okay, so I have it here. So basically, the way we've got to do it is... So let's have a look-see. Um, you break the skull to get the inverted magnet, but we don't need that because we've got the crown. Uh, then you go to 1-2 two towards the fish. Then you need to have at least one modifier in the fish... Uh, in the fish box, go to YV. Okay, so... Ah, okay, okay. We may have done this wrong already then. I'm going to see what we can do here, but we may have done this wrong. Let's let's find out. So now we go through to the inverted area this way, I think. Um, we'll grab Plutonium Hunger, I think, here. And then we'll go with Rhino Skin, I guess. Okay, no, I think we're okay. I think we've done this right. I think we've done this right. Okay, the toxic area is annoying, so let's be careful. We do have our, our range here if we need it, but it's not the most reliable. Oh my god, the fact that they, bounce, they, they fire out bouncy bullets as well is kind of evil. Get out of here, you. Okay, get all you guys gone. No, okay, so we can we can try this again, but that's that's a gen generally the route we want to be taking there. I think. Let's see if I've got that right. They say about getting the inversion magnet. Um, the inversion magnet might be needed to go through the... Um, take the car. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Uh, does going inverted this way work? Let's find out, shall we? Let's just do this straight off the bat, shall we? Ah, damn it, I tried to block in time there, but I couldn't do it. Okay, I'm, I don't know. I'm not particularly fan of the lance off the bat here, actually. The lance off the bat is kind of not making this any easier, which I thought it would, but sadly, it is not the case. Right, so. We'll crack this open. No, I wanted that. Okay, so I've got to go through here for the inversion magnet, I guess. Uh, let's go with the eagle eyes. Let's grab the jaw splitter here instead. So we're through here now. Okay. I want to try and do this the right way. I think being on the inverted area here isn't the best, but we'll see. I know that I could do the fish bit now, but I might as well try and get the uh, the rads from this area first, right? Right, then we got a weapon mod here, which is good. We want a weapon mod. I would like the ammo, please. We quickly grab that. 
and then we come in and we grab that and that and then I think we go back and do the fish here if we still can oh god why can't I fly over that god damn it can we still do the fish or are we too late we're too late no okay so I've got to do that first all right right, right starting again starting again I'm figuring this out as we go people I'm figuring this out as we go give me a chance okay so this is all normal Having Mila here is nice, right off the bat, but I still want a better weapon though. Right, then we come over here and destroy this for the inversion magnet. Grab that. Come through here. And as soon as we see the fish skull, we interact with it. We don't want to wait. Wherever it is. There it is. Okay, that's done. Now we've got to survive, which is a challenge in itself, to be honest. We do have melee, which makes it a little easier to survive, but I wouldn't say by any means easy. Good stuff there. We put that on there. Then we... Go through here, wherever that portal just opened. Not that portal, thank you. I don't know if that'll lead the right way. Wait, 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 hold up. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I'm confused now. Um, take that, thank you. Okay, this is good, this is good. Get off me fish, people. I need healing so badly. Give me the heals I so desperately require. I'm so gonna die if I don't get healing. Where is it? There's some, there's some, there's some, finally. Okay, so I think we then go through here like normal, right? Um, then... What the hell do I grab here? I guess I grab Bloodlust for now. And then... The Fists, maybe? I think this is going right so far. Come through here. We've got to fight the fish boss in a minute, I think. Oh, dude, I'm taking so much damage. I need to get this out of the way. It's annoying me. You need to get out of the way too, my good sir. God, this area is crazy. Okay, we got a super toxic crossbow, which seems very good to me. We got a micro shotgun, which is appropriately been given a higher level. Where's the car at? Or is that next stage? That might be next stage because we didn't fight the boss here. Ooh, 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 I need a weapon mod. I've got to remember to keep a weapon mod with me. Okay, straight on through, I think. Good. good. Ah, you bastard. God damn. The forgetting about the stupid poison. Right. I, now I can go through here, right? Yes, I can. Okay. So I've just got to kill the boss and survive this, and then I can go through. But... Killing this boss and surviving it is not easy, because this guy is an absolute pain in the ass. I find this boss to be one of the hardest early game bosses that you can come across. Toxic laser rifle there. Right, so now, if I go on straight through here, and I'll take scarier face here, I think. Now I can go to the statue at the end and give up my weapon mod. Okay. I'm surprised the inversion magnet doesn't bring you to the inverted YVs when you use it on the car. Kind of makes logical sense that it would, right? But hey her. Need eagle eyes for this gun.
There it is. Look, there's our sacrifice weapon mod thing. I mean, we might as well complete the floor first, but... Oh, we finally got a micro weapon! Holy shit! Okay, now I can sacrifice our weapon mod to go here. Um, and I'll take Tough Shell, I think. Golden micro machine gun. Oh, man. It finally happened after all this time. I need to eagle eyes with this thing so badly. To be fair, it's kind of fallen off in this area anyways. We kind of probably want to switch it out. Luckily, I can use the walls to my advantage to uh, stay out of harm's way for the most part here. Okay. Yeah, we've run out of ammo. Let's, let, me, let me go get the machine gun because we've got more range on that. Thank you. It's not the best weapon ever, but it'll do for now. And yeah, having the extra range is rather nice. Okay. Explosive crossbow, I think I'll take that, thank you. Right, then I guess I go through the inverted area this way. I still think I'm going to die in this area. We'll see. This area is pretty gnarly. There was HP there, and I went for it, and it got me killed. <laughs> so maybe I don't want the crown of inversion this way. I think that's maybe messing things up a little bit. Um... I guess I could take the crown of choice to level up a bit faster, but then I'd need to... The inversion magnet strap wouldn't really work, would it? I'll go with the crown of the drowning, maybe. Uh, let me let me quickly restart and pick my, uh, pick my other golden weapon here. What can we start with? Um, yeah, we'll start with a micro instead. And then... Yeah, maybe go crown of the drowning. That seems like an appropriate one to grab. I don't know if we best to make this better, but so far, I like it. Oh, god damn it, maggot. Why'd you have to do it to me? Oh, shit, I didn't realize that was a infested maggot thingy. Oh, dude, I did not realize that doesn't grab an... It doesn't give you an inversion crown if you don't destroy it while it's open. Okay, we've got to be quicker. We've got to be quicker. We've got a strat going on right now. Trying to make it work. There you go. Got the inversion magnet. We can go on through here. Jawbrick is potentially decent here. Got that. Good level ups. Yeah, uh, Crown of Drowning doesn't seem to matter much with this gun, to be honest. We're not really running out of ammo with it. We'll pop this real quick. I'm going to take out the rest of the floor first. Morpho pistol's decent. And you are dead. Good, good. Hey, back through to here again. Um, anything that's going to be really good for us right now? I don't really think so. I'm going to take Shotgun Shoulders as a preemptive pickup. In case we get something that works with it. Because it can be really good for us. In these built up areas with a lot of enemies. The crown of drowning doesn't seem to reduce, uh, increase the amount of ammo I'm spending at all with this. Unless they changed the crown. But I don't think they did. Right, straight on through. Um, honestly, scarier face with this weapon will be really, really good. Oh, dude. This area with a goddamn stupid little... Ugh, I hate him so much. This area makes me sad to fucking play. I want to avoid this area whenever possible. Right. 
Right, good, good. Weapon mod, good, good. What would we get here? Super toxic crossbow. Right, throw we go. Um. Second stomach is a good one. Let's grab that. Some of killing each other over there. I'll allow it. Big fish is here. Do not destroy the car, big fish. Oh, dude. Dude. Chill, game. Chill. My god, this boss, man. This boss is insane. Just let him chill for a minute. This boss is just absolutely... No it's... It's nonsense. Please, I beg of you. I ask you every time I go there, nerf that boss, please. That boss is absolutely insane for a level 2 boss. Like, literally, like, Hyper Crystal and stuff that spawn and loop are far, far easier bosses than that. I know you have more stuff by that time, but still, like, goddamn, for where it appears in the game, that boss is not okay. Like... Just give it a cooldown before it can spawn more enemies. That's all it needs to do. It just... It's relentless, the amount that it spawns. It's absolute insanity. Absolute insanity. I hate it. <laughs> I constantly complain about it, I know. But goddamn, I feel like it's valid. I feel like it's very valid. A boss is just ridiculously overtuned, in my opinion. The vanilla one, like, is not so bad. The, but the the inverted one especially is just insane. Really? That didn't give me any health? Okay. Um, I guess we'll go with that. Bugger off with your bouncy bullets as well, you. Ah, uh, the, the way the fish move, the bouncy bullets, it's just everything about this area sucks, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck off. Splinter gun's not really that much better. I need to go to the inverted area to get a weapon mod. Um, yeah, I'll go with that. Right. I don't mind it when these guys stay at their distance, stay in their lane, but they don't often like to do that. Through we go. I guess I'll kill you. Damn, this weapon is not great. This needs needs a scarier face to make it decent. Right, there's that done, so we can leave once we killed the boss. If I kill the boss, that is. With the weapon we have right now, I'm not particularly hopeful of that happening. Hear that boy come. There's, there's, there's just... I have flight and this is too hard. <laughs> I can fly over walls and this is still too many enemies. Like, 
Just, well, just, just, I can't even get near him. <laughs> Honestly, the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm getting so but goddamn frustrated. That's just honestly ridiculous. <laughs> I was firing at him for so long. I hit him so many times, and he just kept spawning more and 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 more. Just give him like a cooldown. He needs to chill. <laughs> oh, you've got. I was shooting at it already and it closed. Oh man. This this weapon, this weapon sucks. It's got such low damage. But then again, I don't really have anything that doesn't suck as this guy. I guess I could take the shotgun and try and get shotgun shoulders. Cool, okay. We're going. I just get absolutely wrecked as this character. What is going on? I'm just so overwhelmed by enemies all the time. Also, my weapon drops have just not been good this entire session. I could go laser pistol and like energy brain or something. If that comes to fruition. Seems like a decent shout to be honest. Right, just chill out guy. Okay, good. We're here again. Unfortunately, we're here again. Oh, the fish, man. Get off me. Get out of here. No energy brain. God damn it. Ooh, a bunch of purple to throw into the mix, thank you. That laser hit me, lovely. Is it I think the uh, weapon mod is always toxic down here, isn't it? Electro gun? Yeah, I guess I'll take that instead. Might end up being a bit better for us. Still got hit by the poison there. Beautiful. Let me out of this hellscape, please. Energy brain, lovely. Right. Gotta make sure I accidentally destroy that car. Right, this with energy brain should absolutely annihilate this guy. Yeah, I thought so. Right. My god. <laughs> We're finally back on track. I make sure we don't destroy the weapon mod sacrifice thing.
What about this now? Okay, it's over here. Okay, so we can clear out this area. Explosive crossbow, that's a good one. Right, straight on through. Okay, this area isn't really easy at all, so let's be wary. Didn't expect multiple of you down there. Oh, dude, the balls are too fucking thick. They're not fitting through the gaps. Okay. We're good once again. I don't think we need to go inverted area this time. Let's just have a little look-see. Go towards the fish. They need one modifier. In the fish box, go to YV. Sacrifice gets the jungle. Defeat the box and rescue the pink sheep. Okay. Just gotta make sure not to kill the pink sheep. Right, through normal way, thank you. Um, kind of a tricky one. Maybe Hypersomnia here would be good. Dude, the little guys. These Electro Balls, man. Barely fit through any gaps. Fit through the gap, goddammit. Haha, you spawned and slightly sleeping. It's like, if it's in a like, small confined area, this electric ball is terrible. In an open area, it's not bad, but in a small confined space, it is honestly awful. Mini plasma rifle instead, maybe? I'm gonna try that out. It's a higher tier, so I'm gonna try it out. Still don't want to go inverted on this area. I don't want the extra risk. There you go. Right, okay. Um... Flexible elbows, thank you. Box, how are you not dead yet? Holy shit. Right, through the sheep area. We got a level up out of that as well. Um, I guess I'll go with this. Look at the dancing sheep. Look at them go. Right. Unfortunately, you were asleep for a portion of that on top of a wall, so I couldn't hit you. Hey, yo. That was good stuff. Blob gun. We don't need the inverted magnet anymore, actually, so I guess I could uh, drop that and take the blob gun here. Right, so then, uh, kill the cat. Then when you loop, go 1-1 one, one towards graveyard, killing the bird. Continue to big assassin and big crystal. Okay, there you go. Sword gun. Yes, please. I like the sword gun. Yeah, sword gun's working out for us nicely here. Charge hammer could be interesting. I still think we want to have a plasma weapon. for energy brain to take advantage of. This one isn't probably the best one, but it's doing an okay job. 
Right, so now this is just playing as normal, right? Okay, cool. Sword gun is taking out massive groups. Splasm gun seems... Yeah. Splasm gun is uh, a very good energy brain one. Dead. We're good to go. We're good to go. Okay, we've got something going on now. Plutonium hunger. Um, I think yes, please. Nah, this 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 plasm gun's gonna be a uh, killer for these big boys. I think. Oh wow, that guy uh, jumped at me when I wasn't expecting it. What's this here? Morpho Ray. Morpho Ray does have uh, a bonus to it with Energy Brain, I believe. Is it better than the other one, though? Super Flat Can? I don't think it is. I think this is better. Okay, cool. Regular area we're through. Right, because there's a lot of them here, AoE is important, so let's fire off a bunch of these. There you go, we got our Ultra as well, we'll see how that helps us out. Energy Glove. That seems like it could be really good, but I'm not going to take it right now because I do not have uh, extra feet. Right, okay. Moving can uh, sometimes deflect projectiles. That's kind of good. Uh, as ammo's lowers, increase reload speed. When you're out of ammo, heal two. You can fire any weapon as long as you have more than zero ammo. Whenever you are immune, you fire projectiles at enemies. Um, you can fly over walls forever. Bigger deflect area. Or um, uh, slight longer deflect. You can deflect your crosshair. Yeah, that's the one that's really good, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so when we deflect, we can use a bit of ammo to deflect at our crosshair, which I remember being really good before, so let's try that out. Right, then we go loop, and we go to the big bird. Right, once these light up, we destroy them. Right, I don't know which weapon's going to be best here. Probably the melee so we can destroy uh, some shots coming in. With Plutonium Hunger, we should get a decent amount of ammo back. Right, pop up a few of those. There you go. We got it. We got it. It's not the best of best stuff, but I think it's working out. Yeah, we definitely need to trade out this plasma weapon because it's it's okay, but I think we could definitely do better. All right, there you go. Working out nicely for us. How are you not dead yet, dude? Come on. You've got to be nearly dead. There you go. Took a bit of doing what we got there. I will take this, thank you. And I'll take a few of these. Okay, away we go. Right, sword is definitely going to be the way to go for this. We can hit so many enemies at once with this. We gotta make sure not to destroy our thing either. There it is, there it is, there it is. Get over and in there. Make sure it doesn't despawn. Electric crossbow. 
is probably pretty good for us here. Because electric is enhanced. Dude, what on earth is the spawn? This is awful. Okay, I'm not quite sure what's happening right now, but we're making our way through. Right, hello you. Again, use this weapon because it'll deflect projectiles. There you go. Oh my god, this is kind of crazy. At least this weapon is doing us a right lot of good. And the boss is here. Hello, fishy boy. Auto penetrator. We are out of here. Get us gone, please. Thank you. And this takes us to the assassin, and then the, the rest of the way is normal. Dude, you get so much sleep time at the start of the stage. So good. There you go. Here's Big Assassin. I just got to not die to Big Assassin. Big Assassin is dead. What's that called? Double Morpho Laser. Seems like it could be good. Right. Plow on through. How is there still so many enemies left? There you go. Take me through here. Right, in here we'll be able to get most of the uh, thingies now. Um, put that on there, I guess. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Only Hyper Crystal left now. You see? They were right. This is a path that you want to be taking if you want to do this challenge. Yeah, you, you, you back off, you. The double Morpho laser seems good. What's the difference between shank gun and sword gun? I need to take a look at this. Dude, someone keeps hitting me with these massive projectiles from somewhere. He needs to goddamn stop. Right. Dude, get out of here! How are there so many of you? Right. Nah, I think the sword one's better. Oh, damn. We did actually get a weapon mutation here. What do I even want here? This is the question. What do I even want? Um, Go with extra wings. That could be good. I could go with inner peace. It's all a bit difficult, to be honest. Or should I go with, like, just a classic safety one, like, um... What's it called? I'm looking for it now, but I can't find it. Have I already got it? Which is the one that revives you? I might already have it. I guess I could just go with Rhino Skin, but that's a bit boring. Eagle Eyes, maybe... Oh, uh, impact wrists. Yes, impact wrists. We know how good that is on loop. Impact wrists on loop is god tier, so why not? 
Yeah, I've already fought and killed one of you that was just sleeping, so... Ammo's our main concern right now. Holy shit. There's a lot of shit going on right now. There's so many of these respawner guys. Hyper slugger. Okay. My god. The ammo situation is not good. But we're getting through it. I'm going to take that double-sided bad boy. As an actual infinite ammo melee weapon. Cool, okay. Oh my god. Through to this area now. Yeah, I love this double-sided bad boy. Oh yes. We've seen this bad boy before. We know how good this is. It's one of the weapons I absolutely love with Laser Brain. It's just incredible. Okay, and we got a good melee weapon to back it up as well. Good. Some herming on that, why not? Just like, while they're all sleeping, we can basically get ourselves back to full health while we can chill for a little bit. Super Ion Cannon. Hey, little hunter. Do you want to go to sleep in that corner for a little while? Yes, you do. Get lost. Hello. Okay. We are here. We are ready to fight Hyper Crystal. Oh my god. I just want to say, where actually is the Hyper Crystal? But there it is. It's dead. Plasma laser minigun. Oh my lord, that thing looks awesome, but this is too good. What's the coffee cannon do? Makes you faster. What's left? Oh, hello. And there's someone over here. Lightning dragon. Oh my god, there's some cool ass weapons later on. Right, now we just gotta get through to a cr uh, throne vault. Big bad bat. Dude, stop sleeping over the top of walls, you miscreant. Very annoying when you do that. Where's my crown vault? This weapon is insane. I don't know how much better um, energy brain is making it, but it seems like a lot. Okay. It's not going to let us get to the vault, is it? Oh, there you go, there you go. 
Did that not... Oh, that did open. Good. Super nuke launcher. Right, die, all of you. Can we just open it up, please? Why is this not opening? What the hell's left? Right. My god, we did it. For the first time in a long while, we did it. Um, stick cracking on that. Start the ultimate challenge, baby. We've not got much ammo to start it with, and I'll probably die straight away because I don't remember how this actually works, but... I'm already confused and disorientated. I need to not overuse my good weapons. I rewire her because that could be a big mistake. But the ultimate challenge is going reasonably well so far. I'm really liking the, uh, the the feel of this. This might have changed the last time I played it, to be honest. It seems like it has. The floor changing all the time seems different. Right, the regular enemies I can just use my melee weapon against. This melee is really good. I don't know what that is, but I want it dead. Luckily, I get what I want. The assassin came back for more. We've not fought the box yet. Splinter Rush. And then it's Hyper Crystal left, is that it? The only one we haven't fought yet. Honestly, having enemies sleeping right off the bat is, is helping us an immense amount as well. Makes this challenge a lot easier. Yeah, here we go. Here comes the crystals. Luckily, this weapon is absurdly strong. I think we've got to fight at least two of them though, don't we? Not just the one. We got all these curse fellas, so I assume so. There you go. Ah, and this is two assassins at once. Hey, we did it, I think. Oh, shit. I think we got him. Hazard, save run. Boom. I don't know what that means, but I did it! Hoya! Amazing. So I can just like continue this run from there now, I guess. Either way, it's the second time I've ever done that. Thank you for that uh, that little tip on how to do that, because it's been ages since we've been able to see that specific fight thing here, and it's it was cool. It was really cool. Definitely a much longer episode than normal, though, because of this. Oh, just, just, just watch how quickly we kill this man. It's going to be insane. Hello, good sir. Bye. <laughs> the rewire. It's just absolutely absurd how strong this gun is. It's awesome. I love it.
fight. Probably my favourite gun in the game. <laughs> right, I was told I should talk to this guy more. So let's try that. First of all, let's uh, spend some of this stuff. Max HP for 25. Yeah, I guess. Right, someone said talk to this guy more. Be warned, I will not hold back. Okay. Void Master, there you go. I was told there was some sort of like fight with this guy or something. I was also told to be aware that he can insta-kill you, so but not good enough. Okay, so I can only challenge him once. Good to know. That was kinda sketch. That was kinda scary. Right, beautiful stuff. Cool. Through we go. There's a lot of golden weapons unlocked, I like that. This is why we need plutonium hunger here. Gotcha, shark boy. The hell gun is this? Super infuser. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever put this thing down. I don't think any other higher tier weapon will be better than this. <laughs> Apologies, I had to sneeze that. I tried to pause in time, but I couldn't. You need to back off these goddamn dudes, man. Dude! Oh, just... No, man. What a terrible, terrible, awful way for this run to end. Man, I love Nuclear Throne, but it's some absolute poo sometimes. Ugh, enemies like that. I should have just used my rewirer, but I, wanted to, I, wanted to, I didn't want to, like... I don't know. I don't know why I didn't. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.